What's up, y'all? It's your girl Tia Danielle, and welcome back to my channel. So, today's video is going to be a brief video on natural oils and natural deodorants. Um, I posted a post in my YouTube Facebook groups, and I asked if you know you guys wanted to see another makeup video or if you wanted to see a video on natural oils and natural deodorants. Everyone said natural deodorants. Even though natural oils and deodorants was the complete topic. Um, but I'm going to speak on them briefly. I'm not going to go into too much detail um, because of timing. But I have plenty of blog posts on my blog about this topic. I will leave the link in the description box below. Um, so since everyone wanted the natural deodorant topic, I'm going to start with um, the deodorants that I've used and why I've chosen to use these deodorants opposed to other deodorants on the market. Um, the number one reason for me switching to natural um, deodorants is because of knowing the fact that everything that I put on my skin gets absorbed into my body. Which is the same thing for makeup, and I really want... Oh, Lord, why do I look so dark? I really want to um, eventually um, switch over to natural and organic makeup as well. But um, if you're in the beauty community, you know how expensive those products can be. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, everything that you put on your skin gets absorbed into your body. And there are a lot of... Um, ingredients in those deodorants chemicals that are getting absorbed into your body and that can cause disruption to your cellular makeup and then that's when skin irritations happen or um, those chemicals affect the cells and cause tumors to grow and that's how cancers are happening and things like that. The number two reasoning why I switched over from regular deodorants to natural is be, um, because of aluminum. There is aluminum in these regular deodorants. If you look on your deodorant now, if you're not using natural deodorants, you will probably see aluminum in the ingredients somewhere. Number um, one cause of disease to the body. Everything you put under your arm, especially if you have shaved, your pores are very open. It's going inside. So, the natural deodorants that I um, have used and are using right now, one is from the brand Alvera, and it is aloe and almonds, an all-natural roll-on deodorant. This was pretty good. Um, it contains 75% aloe vera gel herb water, um, gentian root and coriander, uh, whole wheat protein, witch hazel, grape seed extract, and um, the last thing is fragrance. So yeah, that one was pretty good. Um, it's been a while since I used it, so I can't remember if um, it was extremely effective. And I know that's um, a lot of people's issue with um, switching over to natural products is because they don't know if it's going to be effective. And my thing is, if you're going to switch over to a natural deodorant, one, you may have to reapply it throughout the day. If you just put deodorant on once in the morning and you think you're going to go the whole day and be perfectly fine, for some people that happens. For some, you have to reapply. Um, and for two, you don't just do one, two, and then that's it with natural deodorants. Sometimes you have to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You have to. Um, the one I'm using now is from the brand called Schmidt's. Um, this is a very expensive brand, but I got it from TJ Maxx, and this was $3.99. Um, I have the Lavender and Sage. I love the scent of this. It has um, arrowroot powder, coconut oil, shea butter, 
baking soda, jojoba seed oil, lavender essential oil, clary sage, which is an essential oil that you need to have because it is very um, good and um, helps with um, a lot of issues that you may have going on with your body. Um, and vitamin E oil as well. It's all in this. And it looks like that. Obviously, you know what a stick deodorant looks like. There's no aluminum, no propylene glycol, and no artificial fragrance. I don't know why you would choose to use anything else when you have the healthier option there and you will be doing your body justice by switching over. Now, real briefly, I'm going to go into natural oils. Some of the oils I'm going to, well, actually only one of the oil is an essential oil. And the difference, um, so essential oils are like eucalyptus oil, lavender oil, rosemary oil, peppermint oil. Those oils are things that you can use to heal the body. Um, if you have congestion, you can use eucalyptus oil. You boil some water um, and put some drops of eucalyptus oil in it and cover your face down in the water. And the steam and the scent from the eucalyptus will clear you up. Um, if you have like migraine headaches um, or anything like that, you can use eucalyptus oil or lavender oil. You want to rub the oils on your pressure points, especially your temples, and it will clear up your headache. Those are good oils to have in your household. Um, other natural oils. I use coconut oil on my skin. I use coconut or almond oil. I use a lot of different oils on my skin. Um, right now, I'm using coconut oil. I just buy coconut oil from the supermarket and I just use it on my skin. You can use it on your skin. You can use it for oil pulling. You can use it on your hair. And you can use it for cooking. This has multi-purposes, and for $4 and some change, why not? Um, when you're looking for coconut oils or any natural oils, you want to make sure that they are expeller pressed and refined, which it says here. Also, I use almond oil. It's good for body and massaging. Um, almond oil contains high vitamin E and we all know vitamin E is essential for um, great skin and overall health and that's why I have this small little bottle here as well and in my last video I spoke about this lemon and vitamin E oil from Burt's Bees which I use for my nail soaks and on my skin to moisturize my body um, I mentioned that lemon is um, antimicrobial um, and an antiseptic. It like cleanses and cleans out, so that's a good oil to have. And I'm just going to mention real quickly the difference in between those oils and let's say this oil that I have here from Bath and Body Works. The Stress Relief Eucalyptus Spearmint Bath and Massage Oil. Now I've used this oil. It is, it is good, but it also has a lot of ingredients in it that these natural oils don't have that are not good for you. Like um, triglyceride um, and a lot of other things that are in here. Menthol, lactate, um, benzol, salicylate. Like if I can't pronounce it, I don't want to use it. This was a Christmas gift, so I used it all the way to completion, but that's the difference. You're not going to get that in any of these natural oils, and you're not going to get things that you can't pronounce in these natural deodorants. So, I just wanted to share that with you guys today. I hope some of the information was helpful. If you like the video, please thumbs up. Make sure you share. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!